uh, here's a general overview of my farm. I have 53 devices, and you can kind of see they're all labeled there, numbered. Um, so just to see what they're on, they're on like a particle board that is sold at Home Depot. I got it for like $12. They make showers out of it, like cheap, cheap showers. Um, you can use it a whiteboard, and it's really nice to stay organized. All the phones are mounted with Velcro, so right here is just like your basic little square, and then all the cords are back there organized uh, with USB chargers and um, some power strips. So I pulled this one down just to kind of show you, and I have an extreme amount of slack in the cords because I overestimated and bought 10 foot long uh, cords from Monoprice, which was silly. And then my all of these larger tablets are mounted with just a strip just gives it a little bit more weight so they don't just because of the weight so they don't come unplugged um so just row by row up here is my devices where if i get a deal and i usually would just buy two to start out with because i wasn't sure how some of these ran so those are on the left are lg tribute fives an s4 two lg hds and two moto e second gens I usually don't spend more than $30. That's kind of my hard limit. I believe most of these were mid-20s. Um, the WCUP means William Checkpoints. So um, four of these are running Checkpoints and the rest are running Perk TV. The next row are all running Checkpoints. These are LG Tribute 2s, I believe. Um, they run pretty well. I'm, I like these. I wouldn't mind buying some more. Uh, the next row are LG XC2s. These were my first phones. I got them for $10 a few years ago. Um, these were great. I used to have a lot more. They've slowly died. These were probably all the ones that I managed to get repaired with the one-year warranty, which is why I like to buy phones new, just because. Um, and then these are all brand new. These are all LG Alcatel Pixies. Uh, they were $10 each. They're kind of lower-end phones, but they run charger pay, so we'll see how that turns out. I haven't made the return on investment yet. And then the next row is... LG Optimus Zone 3s, and they all run Perk TV Live, um, except for those two, which run Perk TV. And then down here are all my fires, so they're all running either Perk TV, Word Church, or Rewardable TV. Um, and I've switched most of these to Rewardable TV, I haven't labeled them yet, just because I like how passive it is, you don't really have to do a lot. And then down at the end, there are my HP streams that run Ernani. So that's about it. Uh, with this board, I haven't mounted it to the wall or anything. So, I mean, it does move, which could be an issue, I guess, if you don't like that. But it's strong enough to hold the weight of all these phones. So that hasn't been an issue for me yet. Um, I use timers, so I have two separate timers. And that really helps with battery bloat. I know some people don't like that with trickle charging and power consumption. But I would say after about six months, almost every phone I had had battery bloat issues. And that can kind of get pricey. And then you'll notice on all of these, they all have like little auxiliary plugs. So some, I think it was you Lotto sent out something where they want their advertisers to think people are listening. So if you had the volume muted, um, you apparently got less ads. So I just did that on pretty much on every device, but it also helps. I don't have to hear any of these. So they just kind of run silently, which, which is great. And this is my... Uh, kind of phone farm media station. It's just an old Dell. I don't even know the model, but it's a uh, six gigabytes of RAM, 2.8 gigahertz press processor, which is just enough for me to control everything remotely. So I use Google's um, Chrome remote desktop. It's really simple. You don't have to act open ports or anything. You just download it on the computer you want to access. And then on the outside network computer, so for example, my Mac or even on my cell phone, I just can log in and then enter a pin number and control this computer, which then has VNC viewer and can control all these, which is great. Um, and then I don't have to worry about network security with that or anything. I mean, I guess Chrome remote desktop could get hacked, but that's on Google. I trust them. So that's it. Uh, I'll show you next. This is my earnings spreadsheet. Uh, it's pretty simple. I just have the apps across the top and just kind of when I cash out to keep track. As you know, some uh, some apps take a little while. So Ulato hasn't paid me since the first, and I keep it red versus ones that instant cash out. And that's why I really like Perk Plastic Card because um, you can just automatically get that. 
I keep a monthly total down here and just kind of a daily total to see. Um, and then the average obviously will go up towards the end of the month. See the total for the month. Um, some apps only pay you in gift cards, so Amazon, Best Buy versus PayPal. So I like to keep those separate as well, since PayPal I can actually use to pay the bill versus Amazon. You kind of have to go through the process of trading or liquidating, which is a hassle. And then on here is a list of all the phones that are specific to the farm. And I just kind of, um, with BNC Live, um, you just kind of keep track of the port, the IP number, and it's all on a closed cert, um, system, so you don't really have to worry about anything from um, remote desktop. And that's pretty much it. I show what I run during the day, and then a lot of these apps that require maintenance during the day, so checkpoints and Perk TV where you have to click the are you watching button or if it goes to home stream, I go to Ulato at night. It just, sometimes it runs great and it'll make three to four dollars a night, which isn't bad and sometimes it's awful, but it's better than the phone just sitting there. So it's kind of what I do. And that's pretty much it. Um, that wise, and here is Chrome Remote Desktop. So you can control the HP streams as well since they are PC devices, which is really nice. Um, just in case they lag or hiccup, but here's the main farm. So I'll click here and you, I'll add in a link where you can see how to work this. But um, I pretty much just have all these labeled and they're corresponding to the numbers on the whiteboard I showed you earlier. So you double click after you set it up and it pretty much watches. Obviously this not stream quality is not great, but uh, it's good enough to maintain and you know something freezes. So I don't see anything going on right now. But maybe, a, for example, a LG Zone can uh, see the ad, make sure they're earning. And then that's kind of the point of the video camera. You can pinpoint exactly which ones are malfunctioning and which ones aren't. And another nice thing about um, VNC is that although it costs $9.99 on the Google Play Store, it's a one-time license fee. And it can work with devices that are rooted and devices that aren't rooted. So down here is where I hook in the devices that aren't rooted and you can start the server via USB, which is kind of annoying, but at the same time, that way devices that aren't um, rootable, you can still remote control, which is really nice, especially like the LG Optimus Zone 3. Those are probably my favorite phones. You can get them for about 20 bucks, and then the fact that you can remote control them is great. And same with the Kindles, um, that's about it, to be honest. And then I control my network down here. Uh, I use Ubiquity, uh, it's by far the best that I haven't had issues with. Um, you, I run two access points and load share them. Uh, it's pretty great, I don't have drops or anything. I used to have a Nighthawk combo, which was a router modem for $300, and this has just been far superior. Two access points, you can kind of see them and go through all that, which is nice. So, and then set up static IPs, and that way you remote control into them. That's about it. Um, you can see the usage, and I have Comcast. I, unfortunately, I had to pay for the unlimited, which is fifty dollars a month extra for the unlimited data. But at the same time, the farm pays for it, so kind of had. I added more phones just for that, but otherwise, it's not bad. It's pretty low maintenance, and you can kind of just tune in whenever and remote them when you're gone, and that's about it. So hopefully that helps some of you guys. If you have questions, I'll try to answer them or uh, probably include links for different apps I run and everything, and that's that. Good luck.